All right, would you rather? Would you rather spend all day playing internet games with a huge lag or spend all day listening to songs you hate? I mean, obviously, I'd rather listen to songs I hate because um, listening to music, man, like I say, it's, it's all, you know, it's it's not really, a bad song can be good. Like, I've had a lot of songs that I play for people and they'd be like, what the fuck is this shit? And I know it's kind of bad, but it's something appealing about it being bad. You know, almost like those fucking D-list type movies where shit just so so horrible is fucking bad. Music is the same way. Because playing a, a game with a fucking huge lag, oh my God, man, that should have made me want to pull my fucking hair out. Like, what is the, there's no fun in that at all. Like, like no, no, that's just like some of the worst shit in the world. There's nothing worse than like, like even me, you know, that's why I never really, um, play 2k that much in the park and all that shit and being online because my jump shot that lag on a jump shot you'd be like what the fuck is going on you know and and but that was way before i discovered the fucking value of ethernet you know what i'm saying you realize man that if you're going to be fucking playing games online and shit you you need to have a fucking ethernet connection and shit so yeah that's why i, I really don't fuck with um, the park in 2k and shit because because of because of the fucking lag but you get motherfuckers man I got a homie, man. His ass has got adjusted to that fucking lag, and he's fucking good at that shit, man. He can shoot like it ain't shit, man. So, but yeah, man, I I, I have not been, I will say, man, I have not been playing 2K as much as I thought. Look at that shit. <laughs> See, this new 2K, man, is, um, she got Wimby going crazy. This new 2K is, is not, have been that, um, I, I can't, it hasn't really been that fun for me, man. I will say, man, it, it's, I kind of feel like they they just releasing these games too early and they're not finished. And you know, it's going to get some patches. We're going to get some updates and all that shit, but I'm not playing that shit like that. I, I still been, um, I've been fucking around on Diablo. I got back into the final fantasy. So I've been going back and forth through that. I recently downloaded an older game that I, um, you know, I used to see a lot, but I didn't play back then, which is a uh, Mark echo getting up, which is pretty much a graffiti game and shit. So I, I downloaded that and, I've been fucking around with that a little bit, but nah, man, I'm not playing no lagging ass games. Some nothing worse than you playing a lag. That just in my head, that just make me think broke ass nigga. You ain't got no fucking good internet. All right, Danny, I have a would you rather that's kind of specific to you. Would you rather um, you could still rap, but you wouldn't be able to write your rap, or would you rather not be able to rap, but you could write raps? I'd rather not be able to rap. And write raps. You'd rather write raps? Hell yeah, because I can find somebody with a dope-ass voice that probably sound way better than my ass with a nice flow and shit that can probably, you know, get some ideas with the fucking way that, you know, because you can, one thing about writing raps, you can write that shit, and then you get in the booth and try to say it, you be like, damn, this don't work out. I got to take some words out. I thought I could bust this like this and not, you know what I'm saying? So you can get with a person that got some flow to them and a dope voice and shit, and they can make this shit better than what you expected. But just me just trying to freestyle everywhere I fucking go. No, I would be fucking horrible. It's nothing worse than a, being a sucky rapper, man. Like, hell no. Fuck that. I got to write. All right. Would you rather knowing when you're going to die or how you're going to die? Um, That's something I think about a lot. You know what I'm saying? I swear. Because, um, I mean, the actual how you're going to die part. I, I think about that a lot, which I shouldn't probably be. But, um, nah, man, I would... Um, I, I would probably rather know when. So then I know, you know what I'm saying? But, but then you find out, you be like, nigga, next week. You're like, oh, shit. I ain't did shit in life. You know, this sucks. You know what I'm saying? So I would probably uh, rather know when instead of how. But I think about how all the time. And that's why I be fucking, I be, I be paranoid, man, when I get in cars and shit, man. I've been through a lot of car accidents in my life. And they ain't take me out. But I always think, man, motherfucking is death machines, man. But yeah, man, um, I actually been um, into a lot of like um, Greek mythology and shit. I was telling y'all, and, um, and I was reading this one book, and it was just talking about man, like um, you know, just about stoic stoicism and all that kind of shit. And it was just like, man, the best thing you could possibly do in life is like uh, already live like you did, you know, and like you were watching yourself from a third person type of perspective, and you know, just think about the shit that if you was watching yourself and think what would make you ashamed. If you saw yourself doing that shit alive and if you live like that, you always be a righteous man type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really been pondering on that. Can't say I've been living like that, but <laughs> I, I, I think about that one. That is a that that is a deep uh, concept about life and shit, you know. Because that's one thing about, you know, um, 
you know, like me and my music and shit like that, I always look at music as like, um, that's one way you, you kind of live forever. You know, after you gone, the music is always going to be there. And it'd be sometimes motherfuckers be making songs and I'd be like, man, you acting like you're going to live forever putting shit out like this, you know? And I, I can't say I always thought like that when I was younger, you know, but now I'm at that age, man. So I think like every song that I put out could possibly be my last. So I'm always trying to like put my best foot forward to make something that I think would stand the test of time. Because you got some of these authors and shit and he, these books been written like 200 years ago, 100 years ago. And motherfuckers still talk about them. And so in, in some sense, to me, that is being immortal. Or you got, you know, certain musicians and shit like that that have put out albums and they've been long gone. And motherfuckers still talk about them to this day. You know what I'm saying? So I would I really like, you know what I'm saying, to, to be mentioned like that. You know, so, you know, with me and my music going forward, I'm definitely thinking more about the longevity of the song. And, you know, not just trying to do some trendy shit that everybody going to think is cool and this and that so yeah all right next up we got would you rather would you rather be immortal god damn we, we on some death shit today this episode's ending pretty dark uh, <laughs> would you rather be immortal but be old forever or be immortal but be a baby forever um i'd rather be old forever you know being a baby kind of sucks to be honest, you know, motherfuckers got to pick you up and shit, grab you in on the ass and shit, got to fucking wipe your ass. And you know what I'm saying? You pissing every goddamn, even though when you old, it's pretty much like you a baby again. But there's nothing like that cool old dude, you know, you can grab a young bitch on the ass. It ain't sexual harassment. She just be like, <laughs> she be like, he just being an old creepy old man. You know what I'm saying? So you can cuss motherfuckers out. They ain't going to whoop your ass. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that, man. So being an old, being an old dude. I mean, it depends on what they mean by being old too. Because if you mean being like old and like bedridden, you can't get up and do shit. Like I want to be able to be old and still be kind of, you know, physically fit in some sense, where I can still move around and do shit. So if I'm old like that, I can still go to strip clubs and shit. You know, I'd rather be that old guy than be a fucking baby. You know, I'd be getting drunk as fuck all the time. All right, and it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man being old is cool that's one thing that i learned man as the older i get you know what i'm saying like i used to because just even just thinking about life and shit you know so a lot of a lot of kids i see they always be like oh you know they act like they never gonna get old and shit i would just tell you it get it, it gets greater later 